Are you ready to make holiday cookies with your children or your grandchildren, but you think it's so much trouble? Well, guess what? I've got an easy recipe that you're going to have more fun than they will. Begin by making your favorite sugar cookie dough. Shape it into a disc and then wrap it tightly with plastic wrap. Place the dough in the fridge. You want to make sure it's chilled all the way through, so refrigerate for at least an hour, but preferably overnight. Roll out the dough until it's about a fourth of an inch thick. No cookie cutter? No problem. Use the top of a glass to get the perfect circle. Line a baking sheet with parchment paper and chill the cookie dough rounds for another 30 minutes. Bake cookies and be sure to remove them before they are golden to ensure they are not overbaked. Using a small spatula, make the beard with the white icing on the bottom half of the cookie and use the red icing to create the hat. Make sure to leave some room in the middle for the face. Add some texture to the hat by piping the white icing along the rim. Use a small dot of frosting to attach the chocolate chip for eyes and the cinnamon candy for the nose. Add a miniature marshmallow to the end for a pom-pom. Enjoy these delicious treats with the kids, but make sure to leave some for Santa. See, now Miss Vera said this was going to be easy peasy. That did not look easy I don't easy know about peasy. that. It wasn't easy. Very cute, though. But it's cute. And it's fun. I love doing Christmas cookies for Santa. Good stuff. <laughs> you ready to go? Yeah, great. I'm getting there. You know when you wash your hands because you touch chicken? You right. know what I'm talking about? Yes. yes. And then you're trying to put on gloves with, with the wet hands? Yep. It's not an easy <laughs> thing to do. No, it works, though. You did it without ripping them, though, which is yeah. really impressive. These are good gloves. These are good gloves. And those are nice his chicken breasts. I mentioned that to you earlier. Yeah. The theme being local today. And these are from Becker Farms. Becker Here's Farms. the closed package. Um, Becker Farms chicken breast, uh, non-GMO fed. These birds live happy lives, as do the cows that the cheese uh, mm -hmm. is made with. And you said one, that's one of the best cheddar oh, cheeses? Oh, the cheddar. And I used the mozzarella for, for this. I grated some of it. It's not like a fresh mozzarella, but the flavor is incredible. When you try uh, raw cheese, raw milk cheese, the flavor boosts considerably. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move that down a little bit while okay. we're standing here, if I can. Doesn't, uh, I was going to say, uh, either I'll do it for you, it's you got tricky it? with that. So, that um, I'm going to operate cheese. a cell phone, you know. So you can see, awesome, that's a perfect temperature okay. there. I wanted to get it hot before we started, but you can see how the sauce is breaking yeah, down. Yeah, that's pretty. And then I wanted to talk to people about if you're doing chicken marinara, you can just do it all on the fly, but if you really want to make that flavor mm -hmm. sing, you really want to do a marinade. And you can do it the night before, or you can do it an hour before. The day before is going to make a difference in the way the flavor is. So plenty of salt. You know, you, you realize you're seasoning the whole thing. I'm going to grab a pair yeah. of tongs here. So plenty of salt, and I usually do both sides. And then I like to use red onion, red onion from farming, and, uh, and uh, engineers. And, mm -hmm. and, they, and they, um, they are certified organic as well. And I've got garlic that we grew on my farm. I'm going to throw some of this in there. Oh, yum. You just kind of stir it around. I like to use white wine as well. Oh, okay. So a little white wine goes a long way. Um, this is actually some leftovers from a private dinner. It's actually a really nice dessert wine. And I'm just going to pour a little bit in there. And you could put this in a, in a Ziploc, or you could put it um, in this bowl. You could leave it in this bowl overnight. But you want to turn it, you know, and, and don't forget the salt. Don't forget the herbs. What do we have here? We've got some fresh thyme. Oh, the thyme makes a big difference. So, but you gotta, you got to not be afraid to just add whatever you want. One of the messages I try to tell people, just use whatever you can and, mm -hmm. and, and experiment so that you learn how to do this stuff. Well, and if you like flavors, use those flavors. Yeah, right? like, if you like something. Yeah. <laughs> if you hate time. Yeah, don't use time. <laughs> don't use the time like I'm doing. I love, too, how simple this is, because I think sometimes the word marinade can be very uh, intimidating yeah. to people. Mm -hmm. They're like, well, I don't know what to put in it, and I don't know what. Yeah. Look at all this very rosemary. So pretty and I picked so all this today. And if you guys want to learn how to grow herbs in the winter, Follow me on Instagram because, like, this is the real deal. So then, you know, let's pretend that this marinated for an hour. Okay. But all you're going to do to finish this awesome dish, let's pretend this marinated. I'm going to put a little butter in this pan. Okay. I don't want too much. We, we had almost, I think we're going to set off the smoke alarm today. We've been trying for years. <laughs> been trying for years to get the smoke alarm to go off in here. I'm sure it works. <laughs> Tim, Tim's here, right? So, yeah, exactly. So he, he checks to make sure this stuff works. So what I want to do is just get a little bit of color on it, and you can literally, I'm going to turn that up just so it gets a little color on it, um, you can literally finish this in the oven. So if I was going to make this for tonight mm -hmm. for my family, 
I could put it in the oven and just let it slow simmer, you know, maybe 300 degrees. But you're going to need to check the internal temperature of this chicken, right? Which reminds me, let's see how this stuff is doing. Oh, my oh, word. Oh, that looks amazing. If I can get Look it out here with a, without burning I myself. Say, do you Careful, need watch a, out. Hot, 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 hot. Oh, my God. Look at that. Wow. So now that's, that's what you call a meal. Once you brown the chicken and put it in the sauce, I added the cheese last minute and just turned on the broiler so that the cheese would be nice and melty. Looks like an awesome pizza, right? It looks so delicious. this over here. So let's get a fresh cutting board and cut into this. Look how it all just incorporates too so well. Yeah, the flavors, mm -hmm. it's not going to be bad. No. Fresh, <laughs> fresh tongs. Everything he makes is so good. It, nobody's been mad at me for anything lately. Look oh, at that. The oh cheese pole. The cheese oh, we did this. All right, and a, and a fresh that. knife. I can't even get it out of there. All right, let's see. We'll have a taste. I'm going to get oh. a fresh knife right over mm -hmm. here. It smells have, so good. Can't use the raw chicken knife. And I know that oh this my is gosh. fully cooked. I cut it like that. It's so pretty. That sauce right, too so, turned in such a beautiful color. Right, right. So, so rich. Then we can take a spoon, reaching across one more time. Yeah. Excuse me. Add a little more, more of this delicious sauce, and then uh, there's <laughs> a fork right there. Will you grab that fork out <laughs> of there for me? How good this is gonna be? It might be a little hot, guys. So be careful. Cutting into some bite-sized pieces. That's nice of you. Thank you. A little finishing salt. <laughs> I could do it off my elbow. It's we have time. Perfection. <laughs> Are they trying to shut me down? Yeah. Careful. Just we about. just really want to it's jump hot. in. Yeah, yeah, sure. 